Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we thought we would change things up a little bit and share some of our classic tandem tips when it comes to interview preparation. Now we know that it's a little bit of a strange time out there at the moment, but we're also aware that there are many of you who are still interviewing at the moment, albeit video interviews, which are a challenge in and of themselves. So we wanted to share um, a couple of classic tips and scratch the surface around uh, what you can do when you're trying to figure out where do I start with this interview preparation and how do I put my best foot forward. So let's get into it. In terms of the basics, the essentials still hold. So review the company website in detail, have a look at the PD, have a look at the hiring manager's details on LinkedIn and, and get a really good snapshot of the environment that you're walking into. What does the structure of the team look like? What are some of the challenges in the industry at the moment? Um, all of those little tidbits are going to set you up for success as a grounding uh, or as a starting point. <laughs> Now, one of our classic tips is to create a cheat sheet for yourself. Now, your resume is all well and good, but the cheat sheet can really help to compartmentalize your experience so you know when you're giving a response how to demonstrate breadth, but also then depth. So when to deep dive and how to deep dive. It's also a great way to give yourself prompts around your achievements, which I strongly encourage you to link back with some measurable outcomes. And it's also a great way to pull out some key points around your experience that align directly with the position description. So you can naturally talk to that when you're giving your responses to the hiring manager. Now, it's important to remember that you're interviewing them just as much as they're interviewing you. So it's really important to remember that you can sense check your way through the interview to make sure you're providing the right level of detail at the right times. So a great way to do this is to sense check and ask them questions. For example, is that enough information? Can I break this down for you further? Would you like to hear about the process that I took when running that project? X, Y, Z. Now this is where your cheat sheet will certainly come in handy because if they say, yes, I'd love to hear about that project or tell me about that employee relations case that you were responsible for investigating, that will allow you then to go, okay, these are all the key points that I need to highlight when breaking that down further. Now this one gets overlooked more often than not, but it is so helpful and that is to prepare some commercially minded questions beforehand. It definitely helps if you feel put on the spot at the end of the interview, certainly if you've been a little bit nervous and more often than not you will get the question around, do you have any questions for us? So it's a great one just to, to have thought about it beforehand. So it also demonstrates that you've been quite conscientious and you've done your research, even if some of those key points have been addressed during the interview. Please let us know in the comments below if you found some of these points helpful, even if it's just been a good reminder for you. We would love to hear about what else helps you when preparing for an interview, so please leave your comments below. Um, but hopefully these will help to put your best foot forward, especially uh, when you might be video interviewing at this time or just getting back into the swing of looking for a new role. So we wish you all the best with your search. We are here to help in any way that we can. And um, yeah, we hope you stay safe and well in the meantime. We'll be back with more. Bye.